prediction. Prediction, okay. I think that uh, we saw the least white cards. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Not exactly meaning that Noah drafted white. As he puts a a is that a manager a manager into the front of the pack. That's I, a that's I'm, a good card. I, I think that <gasps> ooh, I love Guy's Cradle. I actually okay. think Guy's Cradle is is more powerful than a mana drain. I think mana it's more powerful when you get to start with it. You get to start with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. You get to mana drain oftentimes is just counterspell. Now, obviously the upside of mana drain is extremely powerful, uh -huh. but oftentimes I would say more often than not it's counterspell. Noah goes with the mana drain either way, which is totally you know, fine. Totally fine. Totally yeah, fine. it's a re yeah, reasonable pick. Yeah. I'm picking Cradle. Uh, that card is uh, there it's very rare that mana drain is the best card in your deck. Sure, but Cradle definitely can. Cradle be. is often is. Yeah. So, there's a dark coffin on the exact too. <laughs> know that. Now, uh, ooh, Karn. I would be taking this fetch land, just okay. like we talked about with uh, with Zach's draft. I am very, very high on lands. I'm taking fetch lands over basically any other land, uh, unless I have a couple and I'm needing to fix my mana specifically with the lands. Uh, and we see Misty Rainforest, so. Especially after that mana drain pick. Yeah. A cradle plus misty start would have been kinda nice. Would have been. Yeah. But that's I, okay. But I'm totally fine with a misty plus mana drain start too. So yep. Noah I think is off to a nice little start here. Nothing to be unhappy about, I would say. And he has the uh fetch land for what is, in my opinion, the most powerful two color combination in the cube. Which is blue, which green. Is blue green. Any chance that breeding pool wheels? Unlikely, okay. but there is a chance. Okay. That pack was pretty good. It's a pretty pack, yeah. So um, I don't think I don't think it will. Okay. Uh, I mean, lands are just very good. Honestly, that is such a a personal thing for people. You draft? Are you a person that drafts lands, or are you a person that not drafts? Lands? I don't draft lands. I draft lands. No, I don't. So if he, if he we know Jack, Zach didn't draft it. So that's true. Uh, so I draft I draft monocolor decks a lot. Monocolor decks are great. Yeah, yeah I love I, I love being the police, which is mono red. I, it's a, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. It is. It is. You worked really hard on your draft. All right. Uh, one drop, two drop, Sulfurous Vortex. Sure, we're done. Yep. We're done. But, like, you, you're going to do a bunch of cool stuff while you're dying. Yep. So that's cool. Ooh, Cryptos. Now we know he didn't take that. Yep. So, uh, uh, there it is. Yep, there's Grim Monolith. Monolith. Yep. That's what he's taking. That's a pretty clear cut one, I think. Yep. So he's just wanting to go big, which is very understandable. So, like, big blue, maybe, yeah. to start? Yeah. I do like Cryptic. Uh, I mean, even in this cube, Cryptic is still very powerful. It's extremely flexible. Uh, Pack Red is also very, very good. Uh, we know that doesn't get around to Zach, mm -hmm. but uh, that would have been such a great card in Zach's deck. Yep. But Pack Red's extremely powerful. For those of you that played against Pack Red in return to Ravnica Limited, uh, it's probably better than Cube, right? Maybe. It's about the same. Yeah. Which is almost unbeatable. You know, I got a Pack Red passed me at that Pro Tour. What did they take? Uh, you had to find out. I would have hunted that person down. It was Craig Wesco who only drafts white cards, who was passing to me. And this pack, was pack two. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter when you get it. That's true. Uh, That's did true. you know I have uh, on camera at GP San Jose, which is a team Grand Prix, I defeated a turn two pack rat I on, ca you. I on believe, camera. I don't believe you. On camera. I don't believe you. It's not possible. It was possible. It literally, did turn they miss their land drop? They did not. Okay. I traded, made my land drops, Angel Serenity. All right. One, two, three. Okay. Tr okay. Make sure to got the real one off the table. That's important. Yep. That's important. Okay. All right. That's a tough way to do it. Hydroid oh. Crisis and Mall Drifter in the pack. <sighs> Crisis. Uh, I mean, it's. I feel like this is early to take Crisis. We know he doesn't take Dictator Time, mm -hmm. which is probably what I would be selecting here. Okay. Uh, he does, I don't think he's going to take Crisis either. Uh I don't know. I, I I still is that a? I think that's a steam vents. That is a steam vents. Yeah, we know I he doesn't mean, take like, that. Like we know he doesn't take that. Uh, you that's you true. love lands. I do love lands. I like. Mold, we didn't see Moldrifter get to Zach because oh. he would have taken it. He oh. would have. I, I think Crisis is better than Moldrifter oh, personally. Oh, something's coming up. Do do do. Mm. I would. That's what I would be taking. I'm just taking the lands. I'll take the lands and figure out the spells later. They're going to be. See, good. I do the opposite. I'll They're take all the spells. Be good. I'll figure. I don't mind a little seven six mana base. Doesn't bother me any. Plus a little complaint equity. Oh yes, that's there very important. There you go. Yes, yes, oh, small drifter. Come back. on, baby. Easy to cast. Single blue in the mana cost. 
so we were talking about uh, mono red, and uh, I all <laughs> during our panel yesterday, which Zach was a part of as, mm -hmm. as long as well as our uh, our limited author Ryan Sachs. Yes. Um, and we were talking about about red decks and how important it is to uh, in powered cubes to not necessarily worry about trading and value so much as obviously just getting your opponent as dead as quickly as possible, which makes sense. Obviously, yep. you're playing red. Yep. Uh, I always like to remark that I have Mind Twist in every red deck I've ever drafted. I just cast it at the very end of the game. Ah, I see. Yeah, I see. It was Hydroid Crasis, by the way. Was it? Yeah. That was the selection. I think it's. I think it's more powerful than Moldrifter. Okay. Crasis is very good. Okay. Ugin, great here. Uh, let's see. I would not be surprised if he took this either the Ugin or the Kadama's Reach. Yep, there they go okay. at the front. Uh, just pick the Crasis. You have. You're trying to get big mana. Um, I like the Ugin. I think that's just an extremely flexible card. Uh, but I think that uh, Kadama's Reach is a very reasonable pick here also. How do I feel about Force of Vigor, which is good in a powered cube? Uh, Force of Vigor is extremely good, but I think that you want redundancy in, in those effects, which is why I would go with Kadama's Reach. Like, you're not going to be in trouble if you have, like, multiple ramp spells. You, if you have, like... Kadama's Reach and Cultivate, like you're not going to be upset to have those, especially after drafting the cards that he's drafted sure, so far. Sure, sure, okay. And Ugin. Picks the Ugin? Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm all, all aboard for that pick. Colorless still keeps you a little bit open. Mm -hmm. I think Noah is, I mean, Noah has a Mana Drain, a Krasis, an Ugin, uh, Misty? I, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, Force Negation is pretty good. Uh, we know he doesn't take Walking Ballista, although I would he is specifically like it the deck that really likes walking ballista mm -hmm. because you could really play it at any point in the curve um i think that card is also pretty underrated because i think through constructed magic people have a very specific opinion of it like especially in pioneer we've seen it in you're like you gotta make all this huge amount of mana that's not exactly the case yeah um i think i think pact and negation and or not pact negation force, negation. Me, force negation force of negation and force of will are are pretty um overrated ooh, in powered I cubes ooh, i disagree yeah, I, th agree. I think I think that th I think that they're overrated. I'm not saying they're not good, mm -hmm. uh, but people are are interested in taking those cards. In my experience, in the in the very beginning of the pack, top three picks, um, and and honestly, I I like to be more proactive. What's the upside on Soul Herder here? Well, really, this is so there is so we we're talking about archetypes earlier. Uh, the white blue archetype is a blank archetype. You have a lot of stuff with that. Um, and it's more of like a blink tempo deck. Okay. Um, I do think it's early for Soul Herder. I think he sh he should be able to wield that, especially in pack one. Um, but he's taking it. Wow. All right. Okay. So he, and and the best third color to pair with the blue white for the blink deck is, is green. green. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. an or no, that's a questing beast. I think that is a Titania hero. Oh right, right, right. He's he should yeah. not be taking that. That's specifically kind of for the lands deck. We know where the Tangle Wire is going. <laughs> So we spoil, do know where the tank is going. Spoiler there. Um, I think he has a yeah hero uh, Tefer hero of Dominaria. That's I think if you're card. yeah, if, I mean if you're interested in going into blue white, and my prediction was he was drafting white cards, so he's kind of working his way around. I think he's going to take the the Tefer here, but um, Titania is powerful. I do think it's just it's just too early. It's one of those cards that's kind of frustrating to see. Now what he should do. Yeah. Is take this Whirler Rogue. Yeah. <laughs> no one's no one's like no one respects Whirler Rogue, especially directly after and he takes the Titania. Alright, let's talk about Titania here. What, okay. what 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 do we what do we like about this card? So Titania in this cube, there are twenty lands that sacrifice themselves. You have okay. the ten fetch lands. Okay. Uh, you have Prismatic Vista, you have Fable Passage, you have these six canopy lands yep. for Mono Horizons and then yep. uh, and Horizon, Horizon Canopy. canopy. Yep. And then you have Strip Mine Wasteland. Okay. It's a very large number, and it, it takes a, a very low amount of effort to put a lot of power on the board. Sure. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Yep. And we're looking at some other cards here. So you mentioned you mentioned the blink aspect of things. Blade Splicer, it could be an option. Charming Prince does some does some blinking, obviously. We have uh, a Wrath of God, or not a Wrath of God, excuse me, an Armageddon effect in yeah. Ravages of War. Yeah, which uh, I, I would have taken already. Yeah, I have a problem. Uh, Armageddon's are a bit of a problem so, for me. So uh, Noah takes the pick that I would have selected in Blade Splicer. Yep. Um, it's th that's another Mana War type card, extremely powerful that I think is pretty underrated. Uh, extremely good with Soul Herder if you're able to get that going, and it looks like that's kind of the way that uh, 
that Noah is is pushing his draft more into those white cards. Mm -hmm. And after taking those other two, uh, this soul this spell queller is an easy pick. In we my should opinion. We, we've, we should be kind of clear for takeoff here. With yeah, I think he took a spell queller there. Took okay. A spell queller. Okay. So we're we're blue white. Mm -hmm. We're blue white. We got a drain. Um, the Hydra Crisis may or may not make our deck unclear. Now, now Thraktos is a good card to blink. I think uh, green splash. No, I think we're working with three colors here. You think we're just three color deck? Yep. He okay. he very quickly took that Thraktos. Okay. Okay. Um, and th you know, three colors, very reasonable. And look there's at the speak of the devil. There's fixing. cultivate. We were just talking about having a couple of those. Redundancy in that is good. Uh, Recruiter of the guard is better in his deck. I hope he realizes that and takes it. Um, but Recruiter of the guard with blink effects and being able to get all those value creatures is uh, very good. Didn't take survival. We know that. That gets his act last. Survival, yeah. He should. Uh, I think he should take the the recruiter, but uh, he's going to play that cultivate if he gets it. Yeah, do firmly into three colors. Do we have a concern that we have a glut of three mana spells? It's feeling that way right now. Yes, playing two spells per turn is looking to be pretty difficult uh, for Noah until he gets to actual six mana because we don't have any moxes or birds or tree speakers or anything like that right now. No, and he really needs to pick those up. Okay. He now having the glut at three. There's oh, the the, oh, there's a Kadama's Reach. He yeah. did not take it. So now he has both. I don't actually know what he took. We, we had on the viewer Kadama's Reach. but uh, So incredibly important for Noah to skip from, uh, to play a, two, a three drop on turn two. Mm -hmm. That is what his deck absolutely has to do. Okay. Now, okay. we have not seen a Mox. No. We know they're in there. Zach didn't do have we? one. Do we know they're in there? Are we positive uh, they're, they're, in there? they're in there. Okay. They're in oh. there. All right. Now, because we haven't seen one, I've feel like I need to prophesize that. Ah. Uh, Mox, ah. Mox Ruby, because I don't think it'll be on color. Interesting. Yep. Mox Jet, also off color Mox. Would be, but I'm going Grafted with Ruby. Grafted War Gear is the last card here. I love Grafted War Gear. Uh, That's uh, that card's very underrated. It is very underrated. underrated. That's a very, very punchy card. As someone who loves a white aggressive deck with Armageddon's, I'm about the Grafted War Gear yeah. life. It's very powerful. It is very powerful. All right, let's take a little look here. There's your Drain. Yep. Your mo I forgot about the monolith. Yep. Okay. Yep. Monolith's just going to be good. Yep. So he's separating into colors. So he is, you know, he's pretty evenly split, honestly, between all three of these colors, mm -hmm. which not something I love after pack one. Yeah, I want to be like either blue, white, splash green, or blue, green, splash white. Yep. You know, I don't want to be blue, green, white. I don't want to be fully banned. No. Yeah, you can't be like, all right, uh, let's lay it down. Seven, seven, seven of each. Yeah. Uh, even, yeah, cards. even for me, can't can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> And like you said, uh, so many three drops. It's not, you know, that can turn out well. If he ends up going into, uh, <laughs> if he go, goes into Noble Hierarch, any number of Landwar Elves. Um, now, one, he's going to really regret not, not taking that, that guy's cradle. But, you know, yeah, I mean, pack one, pack one, one, pick what, one yeah. what are you going to do? But uh, that's, after the first pack, that's squarely where he wants to be. So here's my fear. Right now, our deck doesn't feel that powerful. Yep. Okay, best card for him to open. Okay. I called it for, for Zach. Liliana the Veil, opposition for Noah. Those oppositions in this? Yeah. <sighs> I didn't know that. Yeah. I would have so. I I dropped from commentary. Yeah, I know. Opposition. Call, you opposition is... Opposition is, com is a completely one of the, unreasonable magic card. It is extremely unreasonable. Uh, arguably the best non-power card in the cube. Okay. Now, you know, I don't pass opposition in cubes. No one should. I make the switch. Yep. That's very reasonable strategy. Yeah. You don't even need that many creatures for it to be good. Like no. three, two. Yep. That was during the time that they let Blue touch all the different permanents. Yeah. You guys try everything. Yeah. Whatever. Have a little fun. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Blue doesn't have any creatures. Yeah. Why would someone play more than one color? Gideon, Uctillarian Academy. I don't really he's think not he's an academy, academy deck. deck. All right. Um... God, I just hate taking a double white card here. Gideon is very good. Uh, there, that, that's the pick. Okay, yep. You need, Square you need, away. You need the man acceleration. You have to have. You have to get to three on turn two. You need as many of those as you possibly can. You're taking them all. Okay, so we're capital G, as far as colors are concerned. Green, I think. Oh, I thought you're capital G for greed. No, 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 no. <laughs> capital, capital G for green. <laughs> And then are we are we capital U for blue or capital W for white with a splash? What did we take? We took Mystic? We yeah, okay, I just want to make sure. It's the only reasonable pick in that pack. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That's very important. Yep. I just feel I, I, we're still solidifying. We're still working on solidifying. Okay, okay. there's a water. We have a water grove. grove. 
A little blue-green canopy, uh, Horizon Land, excuse me. Yep. Talisman, we know he didn't take. Didn't take the Metamorph, that gets the Zack. Doesn't Tarmogoyf. take the Tarmogoyf. Yeah. Corsair. Corsair's fine. I just take the Grove. I, I, I take the Fixing. Yeah, just take the Fixing. Oh, you've come around. Talking well, about now, lands. Well, now, I don't, <laughs> like, I don't like taking lands pack one. Unless it's Strip Mine. So that's not a land. That is a That's count. true. All right, fine. I don't want my opponent to get to play Magic. Strip Mine sometimes is like a preemptive thought sees. Yes. Yes. Very much about the strip mine life. Mm -hmm. So Metamorph doesn't come. Uh, maybe Dauntless Bodyguard. Really mix hey, it. I mean, mix it up. He. Uh, <laughs> I think he's considering this Corsair of Crufix because he likes. He wants to have all of the threes. Yeah, that's too many. It's too many three drops. It's too many threes. Cor and Corsair's fine. It's just not. I don't think mm. it's. I don't think it's powerful enough. I don't think it's powerful enough no. either. Well, I got to be able to cast my spells. It, it is, but not. This is not the deck. No. This is not the deck for no. it. You're probably gonna put creatures into play. Just get that Wirelock Grove. Here's a Vampiric Tutor. Uh, Age, okay, now, Agent Treachery, this is another card this, this year that I got a lot of flack for putting in this cube. Okay. Uh, they're wrong. Okay. This card is ridiculous. Okay, okay. Like, it is it is seriously crazy. Now, hang on a sec. There's also a Palace Jailer, and that card is similarly ridiculous. It is. Uh, Palace Jailer is a better card. Yes. I don't have any clue what direction Neither do mentally I. that Noah is going. Neither do I. Now, the bad thing is I don't think Noah does either. Okay. Uh, but taking the Agent of Treachery, which I don't disagree with, I think Palace Jailer is better, but the upside on Agent of Treachery is much higher. Because if you're going to the Blink deck, uh, that card is ludicrous. Well, okay, so there's a Consecrated Sphinx. So now I'm starting to think, now I'm starting to think we're Simic. Nope, oh, Tropical, tropical you Island. Gotta take you got to take the land. Yep, Tropical Island. All right, so I, I, I would take the Sphinx, but... I would take Tropical Island. Yeah. You can't go Elvish Mystic one drop into seven drop and be like, you know what I don't want? A card that casts both of these in my deck. There's also Lotus Cobra, which is busted. Lotus Cobra is busted. Yeah, that's true. And that, that, that actually solves he's, not e he's not even considering either of this. Then that oh. actually, that, there we go. Because, like, Cobra solves a lot of problems for this mana base, too. Yeah. I like Cobra. I would just, I mean, I'm taking the trop, but Cobra's fine. I think Cobra's better than Sphinx in this deck. I think my order there would be... Cobra, Trop, Sphinx. Yeah. I, For me personally. I'm swapping the first two, but That's I do fine. think the Sphinx is third. All right. Well, we got a second chance. We have a Savannah, which I think he's interested in playing. Or, be right. or, be or Beat Beast. Downs. You ever heard of Beat Downs? Oh, yeah. Quest Questing Beast is uh, the premier beatdown creature of 2019. Uh, it's, been it's been good. Yeah. It's been good. It's probably going to be the even more premier beatdown creature of 2020, uh, if yes. I had to guess. Yeah, I have a feeling. Put a couple lines of text on there to make it fairly good. Yeah. What it's was no that? What would you take? Uh, it seemed like a talisman. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay. So eschewing the mana, as a lot of people have done. A talisman of hierarchy. Wrong one, says intern Rob. Okay. okay. Maybe have been the blue-green talisman. We'll see the art of that. I don't uh, know what's yes. that called. That, so we have Rophilos and uh, I a would, green sun zenith. And a Garrick. Well, I, I, you can't take the Rophilos. You've, See, Justin, uh, I got some bad news for you there, bud. Can't's a strong word to use you when you're in the coverage booth. You can't do it. When you say can't. You pass back to back. When tropical you say, islands. When you put it back. Come on, Noah. Read it. You need when forest, buddy. When you say buddy. can't, what do you mean exactly? Yep. You what can't, do you mean? You cannot pass Tropical Island, Savannah, and then say, you know what I want? Forests. Hmm. Going to disagree based off of what I just saw. My Frexian Revoke. It's, you know what it's time to do? It's time to dial up that key rune. <sighs> That's what I'm thinking. I would I would take oh, Birds of Paradise. Paradise. <laughs> yes. Our mana is a little all over the place. This is what we like to call the godsend. Yeah. It really is. Yes. <laughs> it really is. This is the perfect card. Yeah, yeah. birds are birds are hierarch. Those yeah. are the two. What do you what is he? Does he have he has mana drain? That's it though. Well now That's we know it. he doesn't take it. This ends yeah, up in yeah, Zach's yeah. deck, but uh it's birds. It's birds with a bullet. I hope he's just reading the the text of all of the rest of the cards rather yeah. than considering them. Maybe a little mental inventory. And then let's fly away. Like Lenny Kravitz. Fly away. There, there we, you go. Mm, uh, well, we know how this one ends. We, well, we know, we know that the spell secret does not get taken. There we there go. There we go. Good on you, Noah. All right. Little fixing. Little bit of fixing. Another pack coming. Okay. Person knows left takes a pack. No, we'll get a pack. We have a Wrath of God. Decline. Now, 
Okay, the the card for well, never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna say it's it's that collector roof because he took green stone seeds, but he but didn't. But Zach took the he collector. He took roof. he took, and we know that. Uh, but he took the Rofalos instead of the green stone zenith. Now, I really hope he takes this Horizon Canopy, which creates blue, uh, green, and white mana. That's specifically not a forest. Yes. After passing the Savannah, that that's would make okay. me hey. that make me very happy. I would take the slime bowl. We need some ways to take care of some artifacts and enchantments. Maybe mana screw our opponent or color screw our opponent. I'm here for the slime ball. Yeah, mm -hmm. If you could play it on turn three, which is with, possible. With our, with our good pal Soul Hoarder, let's get yeah. a little slime no, ball I, in I, here. I, don't, I mean, I'm ta again, I'm taking the land. The, the less lands you take, the more you need to take. <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> the less lands you take, the worse your mana is going to be. Watcher? I, I like I that. I Watcher. Watcher, it's actually a pretty it's a cool it's a, design. It is. It's yeah. a very cool design. Uh, it's it's more powerful than it looks. Like being able to impulse if you can ever uh, you know return it from the to the battlefield of the graveyard or blanket, uh, you just start getting obviously a lot of value, but not just like I'm drawing a single card value, but like I'm really being able to get to the cards I need to in my deck value. Yeah. All right, there. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. You know what's up? You know what's that is the black from. green signet, I believe. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name, but it's the black green one. Talisman of disgusting. Is that right? Uh, he's taking. The don't edge. have to worry about. It. Doesn't see Rel any play. Relic of Progenitus. That's fine. Super reasonable. He's not going to start it, but uh, you know that's a card you'd like in your board. How do we like Goyf? I don't. I like I like Goyf in control decks. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it in aggressive decks. Okay. Um, in control decks, you want to be able to play a 4-5 as quickly as possible to gum up the board so you play can advance D. your plan. Yeah. yeah okay. Th think about, yeah, we're, we're thinking, you know, like uh, Termogoyf in like a next level next blue le Yeah, that's deck. what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah, so we're on the same page. Plays a D and then kills the opponent. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yep. That being said, I, I don't... I, I would take the Ranger Captain. I think the... Uh, well, we know no one takes the Ranger Captain. I know. Oh, disrespect for that. Crew. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I would take. The upside is much higher than Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf is just a guy. Well, that's a little fixing there in Seder Wayfinder. I'm uh, here for that. We have a lot of red cards in this pack, which yeah, somebody somebody's going to have that deck. Yep, uh, and that is that is the archetype. Cobra, oh. Cobra. That is that is an incredible wheel. Cobra. Yep, that's there. A, we go. That's, that's the a, luckiest that's a, thing. That was that was very very fortunate. Well, is that the Savannah? What? Sav and Questing Beast. Savannah me. Savannah me dealer. This is the one time it's I'll take a land. It's also an Eternal Witness. This, this is a this is this is where he just uh takes the three and then just keeps sliding yeah, the rest yeah. of the packs. Something a little I'll error. Take, I'll take these. So you have a Rafellos take the Savannah? <laughs> Do you have to take it? No. Another three? That's what you no, <laughs> You no. deserve that. Oh, a and then he's the green on Sun Zenith coming back around. He's living the dream. He's scouring all the possibilities. Okay. He's, he clearly saw it in the future. Okay. See, this okay. is the problem. We didn't know those were going to wheel, and Noah did. That's why we're up here. He's down there. Got it. As he passes Savannah. Okay. All right. Let's let's lay it out. Separating all of the colors. Uh, Noah's draft looking like a slightly more selective sealed pull right now. <laughs> Well, there's ways to fill this out. There are. Maybe uh, maybe we've passed too many of them. So, the Noah is really ramping up the power level of his 23 or 24 cards that he's going to be playing that are not lands. Uh, I was really hopeful because he led strong with that Misty Rainforest, and then he decided this was the only fixing he needed, which, yeah. of course, I disagree with, but... Um, Look at you wanting to cast all your spells. It, I know what a what a fool I am. I think I think at this point Noah is going to be moving away from white. Now it didn't flow at all during that pack. We basically saw saw no white cards coming from the right, um, which means he's most likely, if he's still interested in doing so, going to be fighting with one of his neighbors. But as we talked about, blue green, barely going into white is probably the the best direction because he does so. have some powerful cards. Yeah. There are some good things going on here. There are. Well, uh, you know, with Cube Draft, so much can change in a single pack. Mm -hmm. You know, he still has... 
another 15 cards, the 15 cards in the last pack changed the dynamic of his deck so significantly from the first 15, and that can just happen again. He's also got to be feeling right now, I think, that, okay, green's open. Should get paid off there. I got I got a witness, a green sun zenith, a quest like questing beast was still at the end of the pack, all that good stuff. Yeah. So, you know, so I should maybe get a couple more green cards uh, this pack. He's got a lot of good ones. Yeah. He's got a lot of good ones. Mono green is one of my favorite archetypes. Now, he's not gonna be mono green. No, he'll, he'll, he'll get those blue cards in there, but he needs but he needs some blue mana fixing. There's no breeding pool. The waterlogged grove is gone. Mm -hmm. Um what? Tropical Island is gone. He passed that's that too. gone. Yeah, so those they're the all three gone. The three blue green duels gone. He has passed them all. Okay. Had the opportunity for every single one. Yeah, and passed said, them all. No, thank you. Yeah. So cultivate and Kadama's reach are going to have to be working overtime here. And for they now. will be. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That's Which true. again goes back. Number one pickup, other than a piece of power, Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch's your pick. Well, are you going to prophesize that? Piece of power, but I'd like to see Noble Hierarch here. Yeah. Is Trigon Predator in here? No, okay. that's past its prime. Yeah, I know it's sad. Now, speaking of cards that is Prasus by that is in this cube, Mystic Snake for this deck. Because you have blue yeah, green. It's a little slow. Well, there's I more blinky cards. Warm coil, well, that got passed. For what did Warm Coil get passed? <laughs> ding 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 ding. There's that mock Ruby. Oh yeah, you said that last you said last pack. Oh well that carries over. We're doing it! We're doing it! We are doing it! So, so Noah's taking some time to see what's going to wheel in this pack. That's true. That's true. Because you don't want... Okay, so Noah's considering the Astrolabe. He's played a lot of modern <laughs> <Yeah>. recently. <laughs> a little too much to make words, huh? Um, okay, this is... No, no, what, 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 what? Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Whew. We almost needed a third person in the booth as we wheeled Ooh. Cedric out of here. Oh, goodness. I think that was for you. That was for coverage. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, Noah. All right, that was close. All right, Zell's Conscripts uh, goes to Zach. What else can we do now? Okay, well, now it's just whatever you want. Tireless Tracker's a good one. Good card. Very good with fetch lands, which Noah hates. <laughs> <laughs> I still take the tracker here. I take the tracker, too. For the same reason he got that Cobra Lake. Well, need, need one more three drop, I think, so... <laughs> Ever heard of How, what ever heard of Wisp? You ever heard of Black Lotus Tireless Tracker play a land? Your turn. It's a great start. That, that's a great start to any game. It really is. <laughs> what do you think about uh, drafting blue and green cards? Need another three job. How do you feel about Flicker Wisp? I'm pro. I'm very pro Flicker Wisp. I think it's very powerful. We know that Urza doesn't get taken. No, nor should it. That, this that is Flicker Wisp needs to go to the back of the pack. We can't cast that. That needs yeah. to go away. This is a relatively easy... Uh, I think it's... Well, we know he doesn't take careful study, so I think he's going he's to do a little tracking. Tracker, yeah, yeah. Tracker's great. I like Tracker. He's got green sun zenith, too. Like Tr you, Tracker uh, with Cultivate and Kadama's Reach? Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Let's talk about more three-mana spells. Yeah. Also, I could see turn three... Ooh, ooh, I'm, I'm brewing up some nice turns. Turn three, no. Tracker, Lotus, Cultivate, go. Yeah. Clues aplenty. See, here's the problem... We were up here complaining about his glut of threes. Yeah. He knows that his three jobs are start on turn one with that Lotus, Cedric. That's okay? true. That's true. Okay. We could not foresee into the future. Actually, as I Noah just could. I actually sequenced a very bad turn there. Actually, we were supposed to do this: go Lotus <laughs> Tracker Land Cultivate. <laughs> that's a better. That's a better turn three. There that's on me. That's on me. Okay. Uh, so if you want to talk about slashing a white card, Tristani Discordant is. Okay, well, Vin Vincer. Vincer's, Vincer's the pick because you actually have a powerful blue card yeah. that goes along with everything else. But he has put Tristani. This is like this is a card that I think is, is starting to pick up play in cubes. Uh, obviously, extremely powerful. It's kind of been edged out of standard a little bit as, yep. as green white has been not great on the back burner. It's called not great. Top eight, the Pro Tour in the hands of uh, excuse me, Mythic Championship in the hands of Andrew Cunio. Uh, a little uh, adventure strategy. Did, yeah. yeah, take taking the Vincer. Like uh, it. A coup for Noah if he wheels the Tristani, though. Okay. That is a white card he definitely wants to splash. Okay. okay. Let's take a look at Skipu here. Sundering Titan does not get selected. We know no, that. A little no. spoiler alert. Sun Titan. Sun Titan, but I don't, like, I don't want any double white cards at this point. Oh, no. So. Oh, no. We have, he's, he really loves the blinky. Yeah. Which is, that, is, is that momentary blink? That's momentary blink. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I'm, here for, I'm here for that. Yeah, uh, I'm taking the hoof. Really? Yeah. Can you even cast it? If you cast, if you if you have Rafelos in your deck, you can cast it. Yeah. It ends the game. Uh, it. You it know what? You, you know what else it does in this draft? Wheels. 
Well, a lot of things wield that shouldn't wield, Cedric. Well, yeah, I'm thinking we got last pack, we got Questing Beast, Eternal Witness, all these green cards at the end of the pack. Yeah, you're right. I'll take a little gamble and say the, the hoof wheels. Now, I wouldn't but what take are you picking over? Blink. It? I'm not taking Sun Titan. Or, I'm, yeah, I'm not. I we can't, can't take cast, Sun Titan. I can't we cast, can't cast it. it. Yeah. You can cast single white, double whites out. Yeah. I'm happy to blink. Now, he's looking at that Sun Titan like, I got a lot of threes. Now, one of the best combos in the cube, Sun Titan Black Lotus. Let me just lay that out there for you. Also true. Okay. That might be thinking, he might be thinking about dialing that up right now. And that's a, that's a fun one. Turn. Sun, Sun Titan you can't cast. Tur you cast it with Lotus. It's true. Ooh. Turn. Turn, turn, three. turn three. Sun Titan Lotus. Yep. Okay. A bit, is that turn three better or worse than my tracker cultivate turn three? It's better because it's a, it's a lotus every turn. Ah. But think of the clues. Sun, Titan. There it is. Robot he's, in disguise. He's won that, that combo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now. Is that Zack Knight of Autumn? <laughs> I'm, I actually am not sure what the pick is here. It doesn't seem like really any of the things he's... He's, he's laid out here, going to make his deck. I think Knight of Autumn is a reasonable sideboard card, but we know he doesn't take it. Uh, this is a horrendous Sensei's size Dividend Cop <laughs> deck. So that uh, uh, Brainstorm, incredibly overrated, uh, unless you just like looking at the top of your deck. But if that's the case, just take top. Just take the top. You can look at it every turn. Exactly. Doesn't take Fast Bond. No. I remember Zach, Zach went fully in the tank about the Fast I Bond. I mean, the, the best card for his deck is the Sword. Okay. It has the highest upside in his deck. It's probably something you're not going to start, but the the protection from black is nice out of the sideboard. It's a it's a reasonable card. Mm. It's the card he's most likely to cast over the course of this top eight. Okay. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Other than of course the Knight of Autumn, which again we know, but we know all of these don't get taken. Maybe he simply just elects to not select a card out of this pack. Just uh, just passes the whole pack. Yeah. I think he's going to take the Brainstorm. He probably will. Brainstorm secretly, as you mentioned, not particularly good in cube. This isn't it like is Legacy, not. Is not. where your decks are built around Brainstorm and they play 10 fetch lands yeah. and 6 real lands. Now, you could have 10 fetch lands, but that's about all of them. Yeah, that's, that's going to be... Ooh, the Kodal's probably good. Uh, actually, like, re, uh, Reclamation, Reclamation Sage. Sage. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, that's the one. That's he, has, he has the Green Sun Zenith. Yeah. See, it's, you know, it's you know, just safe. That's how I know you cube a lot. Yeah. We're just, give, me, give me an artifact destruction I just right I, now. I want to destroy all of them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Kodal, see, Kodal's, Kodal's cute because it draws a card. And all the lands are snow lands. Remember they that? are. They yeah. are. It is cute, but it's, uh, in, it's wrong in my opinion. I'm just taking... Uh, you want another three drop? I want another three drop. Okay. He's taking the Quattle, though. I think Reclamation Sage is going to... It shouldn't wheel, but it could wheel. Yeah. Let's take a look we're at the getting, next We're getting really late for those type things wheel, but we said that last time when we hit the triple of... Uh, of the green cards. Now, yeah. yes, uh, this is one of the better Planeswalkers for his deck. Okay. He's able to pressure them. He can search up creatures once you uh, flip Garrick Relentless. Mm -hmm. So he can search up that uh, Agent of Treachery. He can search up the Hydroid Crisis. Yep. So that actually was a really great pickup for him. Trun. But Trun, to, oh, Myst you just talked about Mystic Snake. There's a Mystic Snake, yep. <laughs> now we have, a, we have a Force of Will that I, I just don't think is great. I don't and think he can really cast it. He can't. He can't cast it for regular mana or yeah. alternative cost. Yep. Um, he is not leaving up enough mana. Now he did take that. He did take that momentary blink, which I know is going to make that uh, Mystic Snake be very, very tempting. Dream for him. big. He's going to take it. Dream big. Oh yeah. Yep. There it is. Can we get that reprinted? Let's get Frilled Mystic out of here. Get the OG back. I think. That's what I say too. Yeah. I don't like Frilled Mystic very much. Ooh. Night Pack Ambusher. That's that's. Combo with the Mystic Snake. Which one are you going to play around? Yep. How about that? There's a there's a small flash theme in, in blue and green. Like that? Yeah. I think that's what he should take here. Uh, Crucible doesn't do anything. He has one fetch land. Yeah, it's quite bad. Yep. Um, Mist uh, Nightpack Ambusher, probably not a card he's going to start, but uh, against control decks, that is a... It's a haymaker. Yeah, that is a, that is a good one, yeah. Good turn. I keep my eyes out on Night, Pook, Night Pack Ambusher. Uh, in standard over the next uh, couple of months. Yeah. It's a little too good Power for how level much plays it's seen. Pa well, you know, uh, when it's the 19th best green card Which in standard. Which is maybe a problem. Yeah. Maybe a problem. But I got a feeling tomorrow they might be powering down green in standard a little bit. Maybe so. A little, little feeling. A little maybe feeling. so. Our friends in Renton, Washington might, uh, might power down green a smidge. 
Yeah, Night Pack Ambusher, uh, power level on that card, incredibly high. I, I just am, I feel like it's going to be one of those cards that goes through standard, and you look at it and you read this card afterwards, you're like, how did this not see any play? Yes, that's how I feel about it. Yeah. I think it's a very good card. All right, well, we have the Flicker Wisp now, which he's definitely going to take. Oh, no. Flicker Wisp Sun Titan? Ever heard of it? Get it back? Yeah. yeah. Uh, turn three. Yeah. Let me lay this out for you. Okay, go for it. Well, three lands. Okay. Lotus. Yep. Sun Titan. Yep. Get back the Lotus. Yep. Flicker Wisp. Flicker the Sun Titan. Yep. Get back the Lotus. Then what? I'll tell you what. Tireless Tracker. Tireless Tracker. <laughs> Tireless Tracker. Yeah. Let's get that out there. Well, no, it's going to come back at end of turn. Flicker Wisp. Because uh, you're holding up mana drain. Ooh. That your mana is really interesting. <laughs> you're really you're really relying on this black lotus there. This is to... this is in a world where I have not passed all of these savannas. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Which is not the world that we're currently living in. Oh, well, we got some work to do here, but no, you know. He's got some powerful cards. The question is will he be able to cast them all? That's the big question. The answer is no. Okay, not that I big a question. I have good news for you. He's playing against Zach Hill in the first round, who similarly hates drafting lands. Mm -hmm. That means someone's mana base is going to be nice. Yep. It is Zach's favorite way to draft. Who can have the least bad deck? Now, yeah. I don't think either of their decks are bad. No, their decks but are I, fine. But I believe they're going to struggle, depending on the construction of their deck. It could get a little ugly for decks that are very powerful. But you know what? I, it's hard for me to uh, stick against the person who has Black Lotus in their deck. It's true. The moment. Yeah. I really think, I personally think that, that, that Noah should just eschew white altogether and really just lean into... Uh, you think so? Blue green. Okay. He's gonna. You know how he's casting white spells? Planes. Best, ex best, best land. Exactly planes. Best land in Magic history. Had okay. a lot of success with planes, Justin. You I have. You, you I don't have, know what you're trying to say. I am, I am familiar. Yeah. Pro planes here. Uh, you know the Pro Points podcast? I'm familiar. Pro with planes that. podcast. Pro planes podcast. You want to come on with me? We'll start <laughs> it up. First episode Monday. Uh, now I do want to let you know there are no Kithkin in this cube. Well, they didn't quite make the cut. I can only make 360. 361 where all the Kith can be on. First, this last cut. That's nice of you. Night of Metagrain. Last cut. It just barely yeah. was outside. That's nice of you. What is that red card? That's Angie's Ravager. This is, so talking about last cards, that was probably, had I had more time to test the cube, that's probably a card that would not have made what the is cube. That, what is that card called? Angie's Ravager. It's from Commander. You'll, you've never seen it before in your life. I know. It's my job to know the cards. And they're not, it's not no your job to know the commander card. Angie's Ravager? Do we even have that? Do we have that to bring up?